GM fam, the Lummis Gillibrand draft on cryptocurrency regulation has dropped. Now, I confess I've been a bit of a black pill doomer on the subject, so hopefully it gives my voice a little credibility when I say that this is actually a fairly promising start. The senators had a really high bar to jump here. They had to balance many competing factions, and one could easily imagine several ways it could have really gone off the rails. Thankfully, what emerged was a thoughtful and considerate attempt at producing good quality legislation. So congratulations to both Gillibrand and Lummis on their hard work. Of course, the bill still has a few problems, and we'd like to see them addressed before this gets passed. Let's go through some of the notable features here. Firstly, what about Curve and DeFi? The language is a bit raw here. There's some troubling sections that could use some clarification. However, remember that overall Curve is situated and quite comfy in the far clearer regulatory environment that is Switzerland. So it would take really a lot for them to get hit directly. As Sam from Frax pointed out in the market capping podcast yesterday, the biggest way for Frax to get hurt would be extremely harsh enforcement, such as a blanket blacklist of DeFi contracts. Nothing in this bill tonally suggests that this is the direction regulators are taking. So overall, considered to be a bullish sign. Other features include some more clarification on the role of securities versus commodities enforcement. Undoubtedly, the SEC and its regulation by enforcement attitude has been damaging America in countless ways. This bill on balance gives more power to the CFTC, and it also explicitly declares Bitcoin and Ethereum as commodities. The SEC had been hemming and hawing on this, but removing ambiguity can only be good here. Of course, the SEC still maintains some role, but it's a step in the right direction. On the downside, there is some lightly increased reporting requirements for things that might fall under the purview of the SEC, and treatments of DAOs are particularly bad. On the plus side, we see amounts under $200 exempt from taxation and the right to self-custody enshrined. Enshrining rights at this stage is critical. So on balance, it's a thoughtful first draft. There's going to be a lot more fighting over the next year or so that's expected to take to get this passed. Note that the biggest effect of passing things like this would not so much be for the typical DGEN, but existing institutions, which have massive amounts of capital, but they've been sidelined waiting for more confidence in the capability of entering the space. A bill like this should provide it. So on the balance, interesting, exciting news. Let us know in the comments your thoughts and your takes.